Saturday uh, night, uh, well, 29th, Sheriff's Office received a call from a residence on County Road 2301. Um, the wife had came home and uh, found her husband deceased in the residence. Mm. Deputies and all were responded, uh, found uh, Mr. Menard, Gary Menard, who known to all of us. He was uh, in his bedroom. Um, murdered and uh, mm -hmm. of course they set the crime scene up and myself uh, investigator Humphreys and um, Dennis Finley investigator Dennis Finley all responded we contacted Texas Ranger um, Texas Ranger from here and the new Texas Ranger from uh, Franklin County all responded to help us and um, through our um, investigating we developed a couple of suspects uh, one of the suspects' information was turned over to uh, Corporal Todd Evans to attempt to locate. Shortly thereafter, um, Evans did locate the subject and uh, contacted myself, and then I contacted other investigators. We went to that location here in Sulphur Springs and located some articles there that we believe that was stolen from Mr. Menard's residence. Uh, took a little while, not very long, but we did find out that they actually were stolen from. And that uh, subject at that residence was arrested on unrelated warrant brought up here to the sheriff's office. Uh, myself and uh, Ranger Vance interviewed him where he did admit to what had happened. And um, then we located the other subject down in Raines County and arrested him the next morning. Um, contacted um, Rusty Steel Wagner and Bo Fox with the Sulphur Springs PD. They mobilized the SWAT team, went down there, and we arrested him on a capital murder warrant the next morning, brought him in, and uh, wasn't too long after that that he admitted to what had happened. Um, one of the subject's names was, the first one that was arrested uh, was a Patrick McMahon, born in 83, and uh, he was arrested in Sulphur Springs, and Cody Shaw, born in 88 he was arrested in Raines County mm -hmm. uh, did they give you an idea that um, this was just they were looking to burglarize a place and something happened or can, can you go into any of that I'm not I'm not sure exactly why um, that uh, mr. Menard was murdered um, other than it was a uh, a robbery in progress and mm -hmm. mr. Menard was murdered all right. So you feel you got um, everything you need on this one pretty well or yes. wrapped up. Well, everything. we've got um, we've got a lot of evidence to log in, a lot of reports to do, a lot of paperwork. But um, we've got you know we've got it wrapped up. We're not looking for suspects. Thank the goodness. They saw the justice of the peace this morning. Yes, uh, Judge Wyvon King um, placed, uh, I believe, a two million dollar bond on each one. Um, this weekend when all this was happening um, we contacted uh, Will Ramsey the district attorney um, he came out and assisted us with any kind of warrants we needed uh, he was out the whole time he was either at his office or over here helping us mm -hmm. so it was a joint effort Sulphur Springs PD come out and helped us they were um, on the address over on um, let's see with the Patrick uh, McMahon over on Beckworth Street there was two PD officers over there helping uh, Corporal Evans with that. I mean, everybody just joined together. And the only way we could get this done so fast. Yeah. It's a capital case because it involves a couple of crimes, right? Right. Committed um, a murder while committing a felony. Mm 